Shifting gears now to politics. We are your local election headquarters less than a month away now from that special election for Rhode Island's first congressional district seat. 12 candidates are vying for Congressman David Cicilline's open seat, including Lieutenant Governor Sabina Matos. She's been engulfed in an ongoing scandal where several Rhode Islanders claim their signatures were forged on her nomination papers. So today the Board of Elections planning another meeting. Joe Cortez joining us live this morning with what we've learned. Well, Patrick Kate, Rhode Island's Board of Elections announced last week it's going to take another look at the signatures as they re-examine the issue and potentially vote to commence further investigatory actions. Last week, BOE members announced they were confident Matos had enough valid signatures to qualify for the September 5th primary election ballot. Now, when the new agenda came out, the board announced it would meet again today for an open discussion on the matter. This all comes as the Rhode Island Attorney General and State Police are continuing their criminal investigation into whether any fraud was committed. Last time we spoke with Matos, she told Target 12 that law enforcement had not contacted her about the criminal probe. As she says, she's trying to move past the issue that has cast a cloud over her bid for Congress. So it's my name and it's my campaign that has been basically um, associated with this um, unfortunate incident. So of course I have concern about that. Now we've also learned that Matos is now living with family in the first district while she and her husband look for a house there. That's according to a statement from her campaign. Now Matos was previously the only major candidate vying for the seat who didn't live in the first congressional district. For now, reporting live in studio, Joe Cortez, 12 News. Latest now on the signature scandal surrounding the special election for Rhode Island's first congressional district. The scandal has focused on Lieutenant Governor Sabina Matos, one of the many Democrats running in next month's primary. So the Board of Elections is meeting today as it discusses whether to re-examine the issue. Joe Cortez live in studio right now with a look ahead for us. Patrick Kate Sabina Matos is currently being investigated by the Attorney General and State Police for whether or not there was any potential fraud on her nomination papers. But today, Rhode Island Board of Elections will meet again and they will and we could see a potential vote for a further investigation by the board. Now, last week, Matos told Target 12 that law enforcement had not contacted her about the criminal probe. Initial reports in the criminal investigation suggested the potential Ford signatures appeared most commonly on paperwork submitted by a Matos hired contractor named Holly McLaren. Now, McLaren told Target 12 last month she didn't forge any signatures. When we last spoke to Matos, she said that she still hadn't talked to McLaren since the scandal broke out last month. And my biggest concern is that there are people out there that are going to fit into this um, conspiracy theory about elections are not um, to be trusted. And I, I hate the fact that I'm being associated with that. Now, according to a statement from her campaign, Montos is now living with family in the first district while she and her husband look for a house there. Matos was previously the only major candidate vying for the seat who didn't live in the first congressional district. For now, reporting live in studio, Joe Cortez, 12 News.